Well, what's up, America? This is old Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel, coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. Well, I've been watching the uh, presidential uh, campaigns, uh, just like everybody, and I've come to the conclusion that uh, it is a foregone conclusion that uh, Trump will become the uh, next president of the United States of America. And so uh, that got me to thinking about what kind of changes he might make whenever he became the president of the United States of America. Uh, you know, because there's a lot of traditional things that come along with being the president. But uh, the way uh, Trump has been running for the office has not been traditional, nor is he a traditional type of a man. He's very uh, uh, himself type of guy. There's a lot about him. Me, 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 me. He likes to see his name up in lights. And so... Uh, I figured, well, uh, if he got to be president, what kind of changes would he make? And so uh, these are some of the things that I came up with, and I'm sure that uh, he would agree with me on this one. Uh, first of all, uh, there's the White House. That would have to be changed immediately uh, to uh, Trump Towers and uh, would be uh, uh, rebuilt uh, uh, up, uh, oh, I say probably, you know, 100 stories high, and it'll be called Trump Towers of Washington, D.C., no more White House, and uh, it'd have big gold letters all over it, and uh, that would be the first change he'd make. And then the second one would be uh, uh, the Air Force One, that would no longer be, it would be Trump number one, and it would be big gold letters on that. And uh, second, uh, thirdly, the um, helicopter, that old green helicopter that all the president's been flying around in, that all get changed to one of them big golden Trump helicopters. So that'd get changed. Those are three things right off the bat. And then, you know, when the dignitaries come in to visit uh, the, over there in Washington, D.C., they all put out a big spread for them so they could have a fancy kind of food and like that. And... Uh, that also would be different. It'd be uh, only uh, Trump steaks and Trump water for the people to eat, and uh, it'd be uh, you know uh, different like that. See, and so uh, some of the things that people need to invest in uh, right now to make money when when uh, Trump becomes president is uh, construction, uh, uh, building construction, and like that. Oh, and by the way, uh, going back to uh, the building of uh, Trump Towers over uh, the White House, he would uh, have Mexico pay for that, and uh, they'll do it because he asked them to. So I just thought, you know, that would be some things. And so uh, you need to invest in construction uh, labor, and uh, that's uh, another nut code for illegal uh, aliens. And uh, that would be one thing to do. And then uh, another thing to invest in would be concrete because uh, he'd be using a lot of concrete to build a wall down in Mexico. And so you invest the money in that and you'll come out pretty good on that too. Now, um, some of the other things that uh, you might uh, consider would be um, uh, uh, buying some of his uh, uh, portfolio stock and things like that. So anyhow, that's my idea about what the old, old uh, Trump will do whenever he gets into office. Another thing is uh, he'll probably, the last thing he'll do um, is he will go before Congress and change uh, the, the uh, name of the president to um, uh, Trump, um, uh, not Trump monarchy. Uh, instead of the president. And so that, there's another investment you need to get into is signage because there's going to be a lot of signs changed from president to Trump in Washington, D.C. So anyway, that's Jim Bob's take on it. Jim Bob's out.